Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to Thoughts and Opinions. Now before we get into today's video, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel. And as you guys are well aware, on the 20th of June, so just under four weeks ago, I uploaded a brand new mini-series asking you guys if you'd like to see more of it. And that mini-series was of course called Thoughts and Opinions and it was revolving around the first bit of FIFA 20 footage we got from EA and that of course was Volta Football. Now out of all the votes, 90% of the votes were for yes, you wanted me to make this into a mini-series. So I'm sat down now, it's the 18th of July, so just under a month later after I've done my Volta Football Thoughts and Opinions video. And FIFA 20 EA have just dropped official gameplay for FIFA 20. And obviously I said to you guys that I was going to look at doing the gameplay. I was going to look at doing career mode, pro clubs. I may even do thoughts and opinions on ultimate team, although I haven't played it in years. It might be something that I look at doing in FIFA 20. But I said that I was going to do this mini series where every time EA release, whether it's gameplay, whether it's pitch notes about career mode, whether it's information about career mode. If they do a video showing something to do with FIFA 20, I will do one of these videos, thoughts and opinions, where we watch the video together and I give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's episode. We've got the official gameplay trailer for FIFA 20. But what I quickly want to do while you guys are looking at this screen right now is recently, since I hit 1,000 subs, which you can see right there, I was able to create a post so i can upload a video go live or create a post that was a new feature when i hit 1000 subs you guys might be thinking brad why are you talking about this well the simple reason is guys is if you go this is what the page would normally look like for you guys at home if you click the community page you can go through i know a few of you have already spotted it i know a few of you talk to me on it and comment and like it and stuff but if you look down the community page you can see all different comments that i do polls that i do photos that are put up and stuff like that so you can see here i've done a poll three days ago asking you guys if i was to do an extra video a week and it couldn't be fifa what would you like to see this was just to get an idea of in the future if i was to upload another game alongside three videos of fifa a week what would it like to be and a massive 53 percent said call of duty 33 for rainbow six siege seven percent for tennis world tour and seven percent for the golf club 2019 but basically i do a few little straw polls i can leave like a big comment letting you guys know what's going on there's another one there with 30 votes just from the sign in so far which team do you think would make a brilliant career mode in fifa 20 massive 57 percent for dortmund which is unbelievable so with 30 votes we're talking about 17 18 votes from you guys just for Dortmund not so many for Barcelona at seven Real Madrid 17 PSG only at three and 17 for Juventus obviously then I mentioned a little bit further up if I just scroll up that one of the series I was going to do which was going to be a Juventus career mode I can't do it anymore because two days ago Pez 2020 announced Juventus are an exclusive team for Pez which obviously means FIFA 20 won't have the stadium, official kits, and also the updated Juventus badge, which is like the little J for Juventus. So obviously it's a little bit of a bummer, like I said, and it's put me off doing a Juventus screen mode. So I'm going to look at doing something else. Obviously you guys then leave comments saying Dortmund, of course. Obviously I asked at the end of this comment, um, drop a comment, let me know some new career modes that you'd like me to do. Obviously Kayla TV said Dortmund, which is great. And obviously when you look at the straw poll up a further down, Dortmund got 57%, so that could be in the pipeline. But basically, I'm showing you the community page, guys, because I post quite a lot here. And one of the things that I posted just yesterday was a schedule over the next couple of weeks of when everything's going to finish. Now, obviously, tomorrow, which is the 19th, you guys are meant to see the Liverpool Cream Mode episode 91. I'm recording this the day before, so it now means that that is going to be moved somewhere else. And obviously on the 19th of July, you guys are going to get this video, thoughts and opinions on FIFA 20 official gameplay. But I just thought I'd show you guys this community page. I thought it was a great time to show you where, you know, I'm putting straw polls um, or YouTube polls, should I say. I'm doing comments, letting you guys know schedules and stuff like that. I thought it was just important that I threw that in there at the start. But if we now jump over to the other tab, you can see here I have full screened the FIFA 20 official gameplay trailer. Now, I'm sure many of you guys have probably already seen this. If you'd like to watch it loads, you can head over to the EA Sports YouTube channel and you can watch it there yourself. But the video come out around three or four hours ago and I wanted to jump on this and get a video out to you guys because obviously this brand new mini 
mini series that was of course thoughts and opinions i thought would be a great thing to do for the channel leading up to fifa 20. so my plan for this one this time around guys is obviously you can see the video is only one minute 29 not very long at all whereas for volta football we had a big press conference I think the video ended up being 20 to 30 minutes this video although we're five minutes in i obviously have to tell you guys about the community page and stuff like that so my plan to make this a little bit easier is i'm going to play this video from start to finish so you guys can just watch it on my channel then i'm going to go back to the start i'm going to play it through and constantly stop and start and talk about things that i spotted you guys might spot things and then what i also would appreciate if you guys could do is go down below in the comment section let me know you're looking forward to fifa 20 are you happy with the official gameplay? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. But like I said, guys, we're going to play this from start to finish. I'm not going to say anything. You guys are just going to watch the trailer. Then we're going to go back to the start, and we're going to do some start stops, and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts and opinions. But let's go ahead and press play and enjoy the trailer. <laughs> Right, so I've just played the 1 minute 29 trailer for you guys to watch before we start discussing anything. I had a little look of it, I've watched it, that's the second time I've watched it now with you guys. So obviously I watched it once before so I could get some ideas of what I'd like to talk about. Now what we're going to do is watch it through again and we're going to discuss things. Now I might say something you might disagree, so put it down below in the comment section. If I said, oh we don't like this but you like the idea of it, drop it down below in the comment section because that's the whole point of this series. Thoughts and opinions. I can give my thoughts and opinions in this video, and then you guys can do it in the comment section. Let's go ahead and start it off first, and we can start and stop as we go through. So let's go ahead and kick this off. So, FIFA 20, new gameplay features first of all. Right, the set piece rewrite. Obviously, I'm not going to try and pause all the time, guys, but this is just from my opinion. Okay, the set piece rewrite. We already knew this was going to happen. We'd already seen from the Volta football and the pitch notes that they were going to change penalties. And free kicks in my opinion which we'll have a look at the penalties and free kicks in a moment penalties needed fixing you guys probably know on fifa 19 penalties are horrible you get that stupid little arrow on the floor you try and put it in the top right corner you aim towards the right corner you put a decent bit of power on it but for some reason it always stays low you can never get it in those postage stamp corners you can never bang it in the top corner so i'm glad that they've changed that as for free kicks for me, it was hit and miss. It was 50-50. You either put one into Rose Z or you banged one in the back of the net. To me, I'm not really sure what the rewrite's going to be like. I know a few YouTubers have had the chance to play FIFA 20 and experiment with the new set-piece rewrite. But until it comes out, unfortunately, I won't. But I definitely think changing the penalty system is definitely the way forward. So that is a plus one for me so far. So if you look there as Mo Salah's about to step up, you can see now what we seem to have is like a aim target. Now, if you can briefly see, there's four white lines creating a circle. But then if you look a little bit closer, there's a bigger circle that's white, but slightly transparent. You can see through it a little bit. I'm not sure if that means it can still go in that area or whether it's always going to go between, if I show you with the mouse. So you've got these lines here. I'm not sure, it may depend on the power, it may depend on something else, but what guarantees it goes in that circle and not this bigger outer white circle? I'm not 100% sure, 
but I'm sure as time goes on, we will learn more like that. But what I like is Mo Salah steps up and bangs one in the top right corner. You can see it again as Willian steps up. Now there's the difference, right? It was white with a white circle around it. It's gone green. So I don't know if like with volleys and shots, we had timed a shot where as you connected with the ball, you click the shoot button again and you have a much better shot. I'm not sure if that green means it's guaranteed to go within that circle. And as you can see from William, it's shot, it does just that. It buries in the back of the net, slight little ping off the post, and it does beat Edison. The that kill there. Now, I'm glad that man's taken it. You guys will know from FIFA 19, Trent Alexander-Arnold's free kick in real life is unbelievable. On FIFA 19, it's terrible. Is it terrible anymore? You missed the bad no, the it's moment. not. Now, again, we've got De Bruyne on this one, and it's showing you already. Now, this is why I was querying. Look at where the target is. So there's those four white lines again, and then the big outer circle. But to dip it, it's hold it up and shoot, and then just after you press circle to put side spin on it, you pull the small stick down. So you pull the right stick down. Same with this one here from Marcus Alonso. Now, if you look at the target, it's showing it in the goal. Oh, you missed it, huh? And it goes in the goal. So if we just go back to the De Bruyne one, did it come down? That's the question we need to ask here. So it's up there. And it stays up there. So you must have to aim slightly higher than the goal. And then you've got to dip it down to get it in the top corner. If you probably aimed in the top corner, you'd get it over the wall and into the bottom left corner. Whereas if you aim a little higher than the goal and dip it, it's going in the top left corner. Can I first of all say, that right there is Allison. So this, this is fake because there's no way... Allison's getting beat between the sticks, can I just say? Run. Oh, you missed it, huh? I didn't miss the run. Oh, you missed the mastermind. Oh, amazing. The one. Dynamic one v one in a tap. So, this is something that definitely needs to be improved. One on ones was never great, but what you'll see in a minute, and I just don't think anyone uses it, is this ball drag, like dragging it back, dragging it back. This Mo Salah skill yeah. here, that's fine. I've seen plenty of people use that before, but this here with Saul. This dragon back. I don't think, maybe it's because it's online, maybe it's different online, but in career mode or pro clubs, I don't personally see people doing that, constantly dragging the ball back and then taking that player off. Defence needed a massive improvement, we all know this, and what I do like is this first tackle here from the PSG man, I'm guessing... You can't see in the bottom left, it's Koke on the ball, but I'm going to say it's Thiago Silva. Oh, it in, just snatches the ball, kicks it ahead of him, and oh, rolls onto it, ready to play it out. We've got Rudiger here sliding in to get the ball to oh, Silva. Keeps it close to the has time to get up. On FIFA 19, there's so many times you slide in, the ball's in between you and the player, you've just took it off. But you're still down on the floor, you don't get up quick enough, and they just take it back off you. This happens a lot in pro clubs. A lot in pro clubs. Ball physics, let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, every single year, FIFA or EA, sorry, say there's new ball physics. The way the ball's going to be moved around, the way when you hit it, it's going to have spin on it and stuff. They say this every year, and what does worry me, guys, is this official game trailer for me, I'll tell you at the end what I give it out of 10. But it just worries me that once the first update comes out for FIFA 20, they just cave all this and, well, it's, it's not like when the game first come out. Composed finishing, so obviously... I'm guessing this is to help out the timed finishing. Obviously, in FIFA 20, uh, FIFA 19, sorry, it was called time finishing. I'm guessing this composed finishing is just, I'm guessing, a little bit more of an update on the timed finishing. What I did notice is you can see here Sancho putting one past the Atletico Madrid keeper. If you look at these next couple of shots, they're all finesse shots. They're all hold you, I think, on PlayStation, it'll be R1 and shoot, and on Xbox, it's RB and shoot. If you actually watch every shot as a finesse, which worries me, because on FIFA 16, I think it was, finesses were so overpowered. You could finesse from 30 yards out, it was going in the top corner. You could be, you know, towards the corner flag, finesse a shot, it was going in the back of the net. What I noticed when watching this for the first time is Sancho's shot here is a finesse, and watch these next couple of shots. The 
Finesse from Aguero. Finesse from Javier. Finesse from Jaden. Or is it Jordan or Jaden? His name's Sancho. I think it's Jordan Sancho. Another finesse inside the boot. Mane with a finesse shot. Another finesse. We've got Son here. Finesse shot. Finesse, finesse, finesse. All of those shots there were finesse shots. So it worries me that is the unbeatable, the unsavable, the overpowered finesse shot coming back to FIFA 20. It was a little bit overpowered at the start of FIFA 19, but they caved it and it wasn't so accurate and it wasn't so powerful and it didn't always get you a goal. They brought timed finishing in which if you mastered time finishing, most of the time you were scoring. Now what I want to do is in this last couple of minutes, guys, I'm going to pause it because there may be some things that you missed in the official gameplay trailer. So let's try and catch it. Not that one. So you got Harry Kane scoring there. But then it's safe. First of all, Deli Ali's signature celebration is there where he does like an eye and puts it upside down. And it went mad all over Twitter. It went on mad all over social media, Facebook, Twitter. Blew it up with people trying to do it because it seemed to be a lot more difficult than it actually was. Save there from Lawrence. Watch Bobby very quickly. You can see his hands go up to his face. That to me is the one eye celebration. I think EA have put Bobby's one eye, and that's when he had a bad eye, he still managed to score, he ran off to the cameras and covered his eye to basically say, even with one eye, look at what I can do. Now, I will try, now if you're seeing it right this moment, great, because it means I've managed to get away with putting it in without getting copyright striked, but I will try and put Bobby's celebration of the one eye when he actually scored in real life, so you guys can compare it. But I think just there, that was Bobby, going towards covering one eye. Could be wrong, but I'm going to say it is. Vinicius Jr. going off and celebrating. And there, another one. Did you catch Mo Salah doing his yoga pose? He's got his right foot up and he puts his boot into his knee, into the side of his knee. And then he does his hands together like a praying hand. And that is his yoga pose. Did you guys spot it? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm loving that new Liverpool kit though. Sterling doing some boxing on the camera and then we come to the end of the trailer and of course they're the official FIFA trailers and gameplay videos the last one there was the official reveal trailer of Volta Football which of course we covered on the 20th of June you guys will be seeing this video on the 19th of July and hopefully you have enjoyed it hopefully you're looking forward to more thoughts and opinions but before I end today's episode I'm going to say from my opinion there were some great things in there. I think the whole dragging the ball backwards is pointless. I think definitely improving the defenders was a must. I think definitely improving and changing the penalties was a must. Free kicks, I'm looking forward to trying it. Personally, did I think they need to be changed? Not so much. I mean, like I said, it was 50-50 for me. Sometimes I'd bang them in the back of the net. Sometimes they'd end up in row Z. But that's real life. Not every player scores every single free kick. So... Whether this means that you're going to score 90% of your free kicks with this brand new free kick. Um, I can't even think of the word that I'm trying to think of now. The new free kick technique as such. Are you going to be scoring 90%? We'll have to wait and see for that. But the big disappointing thing for me of this official gameplay trailer is this here. This number here. 129. 1 minute 29. Now bear in mind I'm already coming up to 18 minutes here with you guys. 1 minute 29. For an official gameplay trailer has me worried. Now I will put up on screen right now the pitch notes. I know that we've got career mode at the end of July. I think we also have pro clubs at the end of July. At the end of July. I don't have that screenshot in front of me right now guys. But you'll be seeing the pitch notes. Obviously as these come out, career mode comes out, pro clubs comes out. I think there's another one for Volta and one for Ultimate Team. If you guys want to see more... And you want me to do every single pitch note there. So every single time a video comes out for one of those subjects. If you want me to do one of these thoughts and opinions video. Make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well for me guys. So I know that you guys are enjoying it. But overall 129. I wish it was a little bit longer. I wish it showed more you know, defenders passing it around at the back. We could see some more passing. Some crossing. Some switch and play. I'd like to have seen a little bit more. But I suppose EA have just got to keep teasing it. And I suppose their job when they bring these trailers out realistically, guys, 
is to sell the game. That's the whole point of trailers. When a trailer comes out for a movie, you watch the trailer, you see two, three minutes, and you go, do you know what? I want to see that. They release this for people like me and you guys at home to go, you know what? It looked all right, that, so I'm going to go out and buy it. But overall, from now on, obviously, I didn't with the Volta Football, but I would give it a rating now. Out of 10 for the Volta Football, the one I uploaded on the 20th of the 6th, the 20th of June, I'm going to give Volta Football a 6 out of 10. For this official gameplay trailer, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think they could have improved, they could have put a little bit more in there, they could have discussed a little bit more on the gameplay, more than just what they've put in new. I'd like to have seen what they've actually changed a little bit more, but I'd say 8 out of 10. But luckily enough, guys, in the next 2 or 3 weeks, obviously I said I didn't have the pitch notes in front of me, I think the career mode and the pro clubs trailers or their gameplay trailers or in-game trailers will be dropping and if you guys are enjoying this and you let me know down below that you're enjoying it and you give it a big thumbs up for me and show me that you're enjoying it then i will continue to make these well see 90 percent of you guys that voted on the first episode which was volta football 90 percent of you wanted me to continue this as a mini series of course once fifa 20 drops and we've had all the pitch note videos and official trailers and stuff i won't be doing any videos on it but let me know down below what you thought of the official gameplay trailer guys if you want to watch it head over to ea sports's uh, YouTube channel and you can watch it there but that is going to do it for today's video and if you have enjoyed it please do give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to drop your comments down below if you're new around here click that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and I've been Massive Brad peace out